Hey, what's up, guys? Dami Gamer Pro here today, and welcome back to another video. So, in my previous video, I showed you guys how to install Wii games onto your Wii U as a virtual console with this program right here. However, this program uses specific images for both an icon and a banner. And we need a way to make those images. So in the previous video, I asked you guys to comment down below if you want to see it. And I did see a comment saying that they wanted to see that video on how to make these images. So that's what today's video is all about. So to do this, you're obviously going to need this program once you're done. And you're going to need Paint.net. This is a photo editor. You can also use Photoshop or Microsoft Paint, whatever you'd like to use. But I'm going to be using Paint.net. So, you're also going to need the two blank images. The first one is like this, and the second one is like this. Once you have these two images, I'm going to show you what to do with them. So, the game we're going to be using as an example is Wii Music, right here. So, just search up the name of your game, and to make these, see right here, we already found a nice little icon. So, we're going to copy this image, and then in paint.net, we're going to go to the icon text and use the magic wand to remove all of the black and delete press plus to paste a new layer under the old one and we can just paste this in right here obviously our image is a lot bigger so we are going to have to scale it down quite a bit so that it fits but once we do we will already have our icon done nice and simple very easy process and once we are done you just want to adjust it until it fits to your liking so as we can see right here I'm liking it like this, but let's say we want it like this. We want it to fit perfectly, but then there's a but then there's still too much space. You can either spread it out, or what I'm going to do is just fill it in with some white so that it looks nice and even. As you can see, just like that. And now we already have our icon. So once we're done, we're just going to click save. And then we are going to save it as icontext.tga. So we're going to save it as a TGA file and click save. It should give us some options. Just press OK and press flatten. Now what we're going to do for here is the same thing. We're going to start by removing the black. Press delete. And then we're going to create a new layer under the old one. And here we're just going to want to find a more stretched out image. So hopefully this one right here will work. Maybe something like this will work, work a little bit better. So we're just going to copy this and go into here and paste. We're going to keep the canvas size. So now we can just shrink this down. And as you can see, it doesn't really fit. But what we can do is stretch it out a little bit. And I don't think that's too much out of proportion to the point where it looks bad. So we're going to keep it like this. And there we go. We've now already finished this one. We can save it as another .tga file. Press save and okay flatten and there we go we've made our images so now when we go into the program if we go to icon we can already just find ways to do this and there we go we can just go into pictures camera roll and there we go we can see the icon text.tga is right there so we can put that in the banner just press on that, then we can go to the boot TV text, and there we go. You guys can see that your icon and banner are right there, and you can do it perfectly as if you the images were like just from the Wii U Virtual Console. So, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I know it was short, but if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, I hope it was helpful, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.